karaoke, the universal language of shower singers and stage-shy folks alike. But when it comes to belting out tunes, Japan and the Philippines bring their own unique flair to the karaoke scene. From high-tech karaoke boxes in Tokyo to the lively video K sessions in Manila, let's take a hilarious journey comparing the two karaoke cultures. In Japan, karaoke isn't just a casual affair. It's a high-tech extravaganza. Enter the karaoke box, a private room with a console that would put even a spaceship to shame. You get a dizzying array of song choices from J-pop to international hits, all accessible at the touch of a button. And not only that, there are also voice-enhancing effects, that suddenly the holder of the mic will sound like an opera diva or a pop sensation artist. Inside the karaoke box, it's like you're at your own concert in a soundproof spaceship, minus the screaming fans, of course. In the Philippines, karaoke is like a community activity. Enter the video K machine, a staple in every Filipino household, corner store, and even tricycle. Yes, tricycle. Forget about private rooms. It's about singing your heart out without shame. The real challenge? The choice of a song that can be agreed upon by the majority. Expect passionate renditions of power ballads, classic OPM, original Filipino music, and the occasional off-key or miserably failed novelty tune. It's not just about singing, it's about creating a chorus of laughter, camaraderie, and the occasional bickering over song choices. The Battle of the Playlists. In Japan, choosing a song is a serious matter. With a wide selection that covers everything from J-pop to classic rock, there's also K-pop, anime songs, and Enka, traditional Japanese music. You may sometimes need help choosing a song. And when it's finally you, the pressure is on to impress listeners with your song selection, not your voice. The debate that may occur in the mind is, should it be an emotional ballad or a catchy pop song? There is a special place in the hearts of Filipinos for singing soulful ballads with sky-high vocals. The challenge does not lie in the number of song choices, but in songs with high notes. Others may be surprised, but for Filipinos, they accept the consequences of their courage in trying to reach those high notes. The loud applause of admiring spectators or the barking of the neighbor's dog. In Japan, a silent symphony. Imagine this, a group of friends in a dark room, each busy in their own musical world. Karaoke in Japan is a silent symphony of synchronized head nodding, occasionally accompanying the song by clapping and gently stomping feet. Socializing? That happens between songs with brief exchanges of approving nods or raised eyebrows from those impressed. It's a peaceful, almost meditative experience where everyone waits for the next person to take the microphone. In the Philippines, karaoke is a boisterous group activity. It's not just about singing, it's about creating an unforgettable performance. Picture a rowdy gang taking turns on the microphone, with friends enthusiastically providing backup vocals, impromptu dance moves, and the occasional drumming on the table. It's a celebration of music, friendship, and the joy of singing as a collective. It's a lively spectacle where the more, the merrier, and the louder, the better. So, whether you prefer the high-tech karaoke boxes of Japan or the lively video key sessions of the Philippines, one thing is clear. Karaoke is a universal language that brings people together. It's a chance to let loose, have fun, and unleash your inner diva or rock star. So grab that microphone, warm up those vocal cords, and get ready for a hilarious showdown in the world of karaoke. Let the singing begin.